Hey guys, so we got some news. Yes, we do. <laughs> While we were up on Clingman Stone, we went off uh, a ways on the Appalachian Trail, which meets at went out about yeah, a couple hundred yards, I think. Yeah, give or take from yep. the tower. I sat down on a log, and then Jeff dropped to one knee and asked me to marry him. Mm-hmm. And I said yes. <laughs> oh, I miss my honey bear. Oh, hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today, as I have been planning for quite some time, <sighs> this week is the week that it's a one year anniversary of uh, <laughs> meeting the man that is now my fiance. And it's been about almost four months since we've been engaged. So I decided now is the time to finally share with you the process of wedding planning. Um, it's, uh, I wouldn't say it's in full swing, but things are definitely moving along. What I'm going to do today is just a simple run through of the 12 month wedding checklist that I've got. So I'll tell you what we have done and what we haven't done and what's coming up next month. Yeah, so what I'm going to be doing is reading off the different items on the checklist and whether or not we have done it yet. So we are in the 8 to 12 month before wedding range. Uh, first one, select a wedding date. Done. It's going to be in the middle of October. I'm not going to give you the official date until after the fact because we value our privacy. Uh, two, formally announce your engagement. That's done. We sort of announced it on Facebook and some of the relatives were slighted. Hey, why didn't you call us? Like, okay. <laughs> so, but um, anyway, that's what we did. We just posted it on Facebook. Our relationship status has changed. Uh, decide who you would want to be in your wedding party and ask each person to participate. That's a work in progress. We're going to have a teeny tiny wedding party, mostly because... Most of my fiancé's friends and family are on the other side of the country and we don't want, and again, the place we've chosen is extremely tiny and we don't have space for a heck of a lot of people, nor do we have money to pay for dinner for a lot of people, so ours is going to be limited to best man, matron of honor, Flower girl, hopefully a ring bearer. I'm trying to talk to one of my nephews. I'm trying to talk to one of my young male relatives, but again, that family is like in the middle of the country, so it's not set in stone yet. I am hopeful though, because I really want a ring bearer. Decide on a wedding budget. Decide on a wedding budget, done. Like I said, ours is going to be tiny. If uh, typical weddings run about twenty to thirty thousand dollars and up, and a budget wedding is supposed to be between five and ten thousand, our wedding budget is not a shoestring. It is embroidery floss. It is t <laughs> it is so small, um, very 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 small. Again, I value our privacy. We value our privacy, so I'm not going to give you an exact number, but. Suffice it to say, it's very, very small. Um, to give you some idea, our uh, rehearsal dinner is probably going to be store-bought sandwiches, and that's about it. Uh, next. Start shopping for a wedding dress. Uh, this week, um, that is kicking into high gear. I've been looking at different patterns online since my budget's so small. I have no idea what I'm going to go with at this point. I know what I want. I don't want any frills or sparklies or lace. And I don't want anything with a train either because I trip over my own feet all the time. The last thing I want to do is fall on my face on my wedding. That would be bad. So we are going with 
simple and bottom line inexpensive. <laughs> Later this week I'm going to be looking at a wedding dress that's actually in a church thrift store. Hopefully I'll get to vlog some of that process for you so I'm pretty excited about that. Normally I'm a girl who does not like wearing dresses. I own one skirt at this point <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Uh, next, register for wedding gifts. Done. Choose an efficient or clergyman and woman or woman. Yeah. <laughs> I just recently heard from one of my cousins who is uh, ordained as a minister. She would be very happy to do it. So I'm like, yay! <laughs> and since we're having a slightly themed wedding, slightly leaning towards Star Wars, she won't mind at all because she's just as much of a hardcore fan as we are. And that's that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, in the same vein, shop for a photographer. My aunt and uncle offered to do the photography. Well, I asked them if they do some basic things. They're professional photographers, so we got our photographers. I'm so happy about that. Um, we're not going with a florist. Flowers, I'm probably going to pick up a bouquet from Walmart, and the rest will be artificial flowers. <laughs> Next. Research locations for ceremony and reception. There's a church literally on the same street I live on. It is tiny, it's cute, I already got permission, and the pastor, which is actually my parents' pastor, is letting us use it free of charge. The only caveat is we bring in a cleanup crew and basically put everything back the way it was. And that's no problem, so location is in the bag. Next, determine your wedding theme, style, and color scheme. <laughs> like I said, our theme is going to be very, very slightly leaning towards Star Wars. Some of the music is going to be Star Wars. There's probably going to be a couple of very, very subtle decorations at the reception that are Star Wars. And uh, that's about it. And if I can talk anybody into showing up with lightsabers so we can exit under an arch of lightsabers, that would be so cool. But that's still up in the air. Choose a beautiful place for your honeymoon. Done in the bag. We'll talk more about that as time goes on. And finally, make a rough guest list with a maximum number of guests in mind. Like I said, this is going to be tiny. Um, we have to, because of our tiny budget, we have to get pretty br brutal with the guest list. At this point, it looks like it's going to be mostly close family and a couple of friends to fill in the gaps. Our absolute ceiling for number of guests is 50 because that's as many, <laughs> that's how many the church will hold. Um, I'm hoping to get it like 45 because that's how many can comfortably sit in the reception area, which is in the church basement. It's finished and it looks fairly nice, but that's, uh, that's about it. So there you have it, guys. That is just about it. <laughs> For the early stages of wedding planning for my fiance and I, I'm really, really excited about it. Um, it will depend. We're not going to be live streaming anything because the church does not have an internet connection. Even if we did, it would only be for friends and family that can't make it. But there will definitely be snippets uploaded probably about a month after the fact to one or both channels. But like I said, really excited. I'll be checking back in about once a month to give you guys updates. And later this week, when I can try on the first wedding dress, definitely going to document as much of that as I can. So, <laughs> see everybody then. And as soon as I get the verse of the day lined up, we will be done for today. Okay, so the verse of the day is Proverbs 18, 22. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Um, well, I can't vouch for how good a thing my fiancé has found, but I've definitely found a wonderful thing in him. So, um, probably going to be trying on the first dress over the weekend, either Friday or Saturday. So, I'll see everybody again then. And until then, get out there and live like you're loved because you are.